The dollar declined the most against the euro in the month. Why did this happen? You can't print phantom money out of thin air, backed by nothing, and producing practically nothing without devaluing your currency. And in the United States, the Federal Reserve, the Treasury, and FDIC have put some $13 trillion worth of phantom money printed out of thin air and backed by nothing into the system. So the rest of the world is worried about the devaluation of the dollar. And they're betting it down on the market. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, in your opinion, what is the future of the dollar, and how does this correlate with President Obama's present economic policy? Our prediction is that the dollar is going to continue to lose its value. More and more of the current uh, traders around the world, as China and Brazil are already doing, are trading in their own currencies. There will be a new reserve currency in the near future to replace the dollar. The dollar is becoming worthless. They're printing them into no value at all. So uh, President Obama is really creating a situation far worse than even what President Bush was doing with his TARP programs, his first bailout programs, with all of these massive stimulus buyouts and bailouts. So long term, the dollar is going to continue to decline in value. And we are also predicting that as the dollar declines in value, gold prices will continue to escalate. And we're forecasting gold $2,000 an ounce, U.S. Thank you. And let's talk a little bit about this reserve currency. The Chinese have been calling for a new global currency, questioning the dollar status as reserve currency. At the moment, how plausible is this idea? Well, it's very plausible, but the Chinese are also stuck with about 1.5 trillion U.S. dollars in, in notes and treasuries, etc. So they have to unwind from these positions carefully so they don't lose the value of all the, the dollar currency that they're holding. So it's a, it's a reality, and it's going to happen, but they have to do it in a market that won't collapse overnight because they don't want to be caught holding a lot of worthless dollars. And let's understand the Chinese have made a lot of bad bets betting on U.S. companies, whether it was BlackRock or, or others. They've taken some very, very bad hits. Thank you. Now, President Obama claims the U.S. economy is on the rebound, that it's making a comeback. Based on what we're seeing, do you think this is true? And what do you forecast to be the immediate future of the U.S. economy, both domestic and with the world? The immediate future is that it's going to look like there's going to be a rebound because they're flooding the market with all of this cheap money. Interest rates are at zero. And it will look as though there's going to be a somewhat of a recovery. But the American society, its GDP is based 72% on consumer spending. You cannot have people borrow more money, banks lend, and then people spend and regenerate a productive capacity. So this is only going to be a temporary relief. It's like giving someone that has a terminal disease a drug. It relieves the symptoms, but it worsens the, it doesn't do anything to, to cure the disease. So what we're looking at by the time this is over, we're looking at the greatest depression. It's worldwide. Let's make this very clear. America's only 5% of the world population, but it consumes 25% of the energy and takes in almost $3 trillion worth of the world's exports each year. If America doesn't consume, the global marketplaces slow down dramatically. Already in China, which is an export society and export uh, economy, their, their exports are off some 26%. So as the United States goes, so goes the rest of the world. But again, temporarily, it will look as though there's a recovery. And then you have to also look at what's going on outside of Wall Street, and that's on Main Street. And when you look at total unemployment, and these are unemployment numbers, that include people that are no longer looking for jobs 
because they've become discouraged, or people that have part-time work and want full-time, that number now is 16.4%. That's enormous. So there's not going to be a recovery, temporary relief. Perfect. Well, thank you very much.